Okay, folks, this will be an interesting one if we can make this one turn up a treat. I've done something like this before, except the product was in the wrapping. Here we're, we're just concerning ourselves with the actual wrapping itself without the product. Something a little bit different. I've done this kind of thing with toilet paper. Some brands of toilet paper. One particular brand I worked with, I did did the toilet paper in the packaging, but then I ended up doing another version, an even better version, with just the uh, plastic wrapping on its own. So I really, was really happy with the result from that. I do wonder if that's going to work. Okay, let's see what we have. We have here Handy Ultra. So these are actually from hand towels. I just scrunched it up a little bit more in a creative fashion to make it look better on photocopier. Hopefully I can do that. It'll look good. I'm just going to put it on the glass on an angle. I like an angle. It looks better. This will be an interesting result if we can get it to look good. I don't know how it's going to look, folks. And it looks interesting. It looks very magenta, uh, very scrunched up. I like the, the the blue there and that overall, but I don't like I don't like the red, the way the red has made that brown. I don't like the brown look. Uh, just wondering how we're going to make this look any decent, anything decent. Um, I think we can move, actually. I wonder if maybe we're going to run it at 200%. We're going to run it at 200 and maybe drop the docking feeder onto it. Yeah, the colour in that is brilliant. I do love that colour. It looks great. We just have to lift it up uh, more. Um, maybe lift it more. But it looks good. So far, so good. I do like it. Maybe a bit of enlargement. We'll see how we go. I'm really happy with that start. So I'm just going to lift it up. Maybe we lifted it too far. I don't know. Um, yeah, that looks better. The color, the color in that looks brilliant. I do wonder if maybe we're going to move it across manually, uh, maybe enlarge it a bit, maybe take a bit of creative license and just enlarge the horizontal a little bit, uh, just a little bit of a stretch. Taking a while to stabilise image, sorry folks, that's just kind of coming old as functionality or lack thereof.
so that's our handy ultra oh I know why this is the wrong way I uh, silly I have to move it across uh, yes okay um, we're just gonna kill off that uh, enlargement I'm just gonna put it back to 200 I didn't realize that it, it's that way so we've got to slide it across just a fraction so just a fraction and see what happens yeah that looks really quite we've moved it too far across we got that there we don't want it at the edge so we just moved it way too far across uh, I do think so we're just gonna maybe try not to get too extreme with the movement of it over it's really a tricky one trying to get it positioned right but it looks good overall it looks different from I think the last version I did with the product and yeah that looks better do you think if it's better than the first version it is yeah you can see it's better than the first it's about the same um, with this version um, it's a bit further across um, I'm wondering if we're going to leave it like that or we're going to move it across just a fraction really just a fraction a tiny tiny fraction perhaps for that matter so we just moved it across. Yeah, that's better, I do think. We just got the, the R for registered just on the edge, which looks really quite good. I think we can work with that. So this is it. Um, I don't like the brown. Uh, the brown looks is that red colour. But if you change that, you end up changing the rest of it. So it's a bit of a it's a bit of difficult. It's a bit like there's always a trade off, <laughs> pretty much. I actually think. I do wonder if maybe we could do something uh, to make it better. Maybe the hue could be less that way. No, we're going to stick with it. We're just going to run with it. So this is what we just output, another version of that. So we're just going to line these up. I'm just trying to flow with my intuition, folks, when I do this work. When I try to make, you could say in inverted commas, magic happen with this photocopier. Uh, try to make magic happen with a piece of uh, shit like this. Yeah, can be difficult working with this kind of shit. So this is Handy Ultra. Ah, oh, fuck, I got it around the wrong way, folks. I don't know why I did that. These are our mirrored pieces to go into position. That one there and this one here. Like it's the wrong way. No, it's not. I thought it was for a moment. Anyway, that's come up looking really nice. I think we can now call this demo quits.